right so let us come back students to one more session of your physical chemistry chapter so we have successfully completed a means chapter i have done every possible question uh, which is uh, required for your board exam even i have concluded with the board paper so let us come back and do the solutions chapter now basically because some of the students have asked me to upload this chapter <coughs> so i have uh, started with this so in solutions chapter the weightage for the uh, for your board exam is 5 marks in that 5 marks you will be given Three marks numerical compulsory. You'll be getting a numerical in solutions, and the leftover two marks you may be asked either definitions or differences, differences between ideal and non-ideal solutions, or definitions of what is osmotic pressure, what is abnormal molar, molar mass, or you may be asked what is Raoult's law, Henry's law. Okay, so weightage for this chapter is five marks. So when I have to start with the index of the chapter, the introduction of the chapter. So basically, your whole uh, chapter is divided into four subtopics, means four categories. Only the first category you will be or you will be learning about this is this comes under section a and this comes under section b okay you also have section c and <coughs> section d so when i have to come back to section a we'll be studying about the basic definitions where i said definitions so we'll be studying about types of solution this topic is quite common even surface chemistry also i'll uh, compare both and then you have concentration units we'll be studying about how to measure the concentration in terms of mass percentage volume percentage molarity molality mole fraction and also we'll be doing numericals on normality done when i come back to section b you have we will be studying about the concept of vapor pressure so cbsc wants you to learn concept of vapor pressure in liquids okay yes in solutions done in that you have raoult's law yes so apart from that you also have a vapor pressure of solution containing two types of solutes one is volatile solute and non volatile solute okay non volatile if it is not vaporizing right done i'll be studying also teaching you about ideal solutions and non ideal solutions and their differences so this diff Differences was given last year. Yes, uh, uh, last year board paper done. And after that, deviations from ideal solutions. I'll be giving you all the examples. I'll be explaining you how why is why is it showing positive deviation, negative deviation. After that, you have non-ideal solutions. That is non-ideal solutions which have constant boiling mixtures. Those are called azeotropes. Azeotrope mixtures are azeotropes are non-ideal solutions. Done. So we still have again. We'll meet with section C and section D. Let us come back and see. We have already seen the part A and part B. Now let's see part C and part D. So in part uh, B, uh, a topic uh, which is related to part B is a Henry's law also. So Raoult's law and Henry's law are the two laws which are there in the chap in that particular resolutions chapter. In part C, section C, <coughs> you have we are going to study about colligative properties. Yes, the main concept or the main uh, theme of the chapter is colligative properties. We will be studying four important colligative properties in that. That is R. LVP, relative lowering of vapor pressure, elevation in boiling point, depression in freezing point, as well as osmotic pressure. Done. So all the four graphical graphical representation. What are the different variations in that? We'll be trying to solve it clearly with a graph. Done. After that. general topic general definitions isotonic solutions hyper and hypotonic solutions we'll study the definition as well as example and after that we're going to study about abnormal molar masses or molecular masses here we'll be studying about molecular association and molecular dissociation i'll also be teaching manthoff's factor in this yes so clearly we'll uh, be doing uh, numericals also related to this so we'll start with the chapter now i i think i hope um, you're trying you're understanding the concept which i'm teaching so <clears throat> a part two book that is organic is completely done only we are left with polymers and chemistry in everyday life i think chemistry in everyday life is easiest chapter polymers is more easier than that so polymers chapter will not take many days to complete so i'll be doing uh, your part one book yes gradually and finish off the syllabus by jan 30th so let us come back and meet with your first uh, first topic of the chapter <laughs> 